Well, some of those awesome moments that you went on to create alongside Ed Fry, I'd love to get into. I believe this storyline was happening as you came into WWE as head writer, Undertaker and Kane, which... No, nah, that was... We we created all that. That was created all that. Okay, well, yeah. then... Now, awesome. I do want to say this, bro, because people... You know, bro, I've got my adversaries who just love to make up shit about me. So I, I always... I always give credit where credit is due. Now, Bruce Pritchard had this Kane character in his head. Okay. But they had, there was no Kane character yet. But, but when Bruce was, was doing creative, uh, he, he, Bruce developed this Kane character and Kane was take his brother but you didn't actually start seeing this character until I started writing the TV. And and Ed wasn't even there for the beginning of uh, Kane. He came later on. But it was 1,000% Bruce's brainchild, but we didn't start uh, – you didn't see that character until I started writing TV. Well, then I definitely got to ask you about Kane's debut, number one. I mean, such a crazy night, and I feel like one of the, easily one of the best debuts of all time. Uh, can you tell Bro, you know what made that a great debut and you you know what made it so unbelievable what freaking jr's call yes that's jr's crazy. call bro bro the 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 announcers are so important to the show and bro jr and and king nobody got a story over better than they did nobody bro nobody and and people remember that moment because they remember JR's call. And bro, those are the things that I miss. Yes. You you don't have moments like that anymore. You don't have calls like that anymore. All of it seems just so artificial and fake. Like I'm watching Raw this past Monday. I don't know if you saw it or not. Did you yeah. see it? I did, okay. yeah. Yeah, so bro, they 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 now put um, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley together, mm -hmm. who, quite frankly, they were the stars of the show. Like Judgment Day, suck without these two. Like, see, like, give me a break. Judgment Day isn't even a thing without Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. And how many times? How many times is Michael Cole going to shove down our throat? The Terra Twins, the Terra Twins, the Terra Twins. The t All right, Michael, I got – see, JR didn't do that. If JR said it once, you freaking remembered it. And that's why, like, everything to me today is just so fabricated, bro. Yeah, not as organic. No, you're, no. you're right. It it seems like a lot of, and I don't know if it was, but it seems like a lot of the calls JR did give back in the day were just off the cuff, his genuine reaction. 1000% bro. And they'll, they'll never be, they'll never be another JR doing that, bro. And again, I give all the credit in the world to that because that's what you're remembering, bro. You're remembering JR's call. Oh, absolutely. And what was it like writing week to week with Undertaker and Kane and crafting that story? Bro, you know what the challenge is? See, bro, he, he, here's what people don't understand. Against the, uh, again, those people that want to take shots at me, what, what they'll say is, oh, Russo's job was easy. Look at the roster he had. Well, first of all, bro, before Russo took over the roster, The Rock was uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson yep. and Steve Austin was the ringmaster. Okay, so let, let's get straight. But, bro, here's the challenge, Joni, and this is what people don't understand, and this is why you need a writer. The challenge is, bro, you have such gifted, gifted talent that as a writer, bro, you've got to at least match their level of greatness. Yeah. And you got to keep taking that great character to greater and greater and greater heights every week. That's the challenge. You can't bring them down. You you can't bring Austin down and take it. You got to keep coming up with shit that's going to keep growing the character. Perfect example, bro, is that's what happened with Bray Wyatt. Mm. They They could not think and create at the level of a Bray Wyatt. So what they did on a weekly basis was they kept bringing Bray down. 
they weren't raising Bray because he he was brilliant and there were no right. writers there to match him. But but that was the difficult part, bro. Like every week you had to give these guys material that was better than the week before. That was the challenge. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.